there's been no shortage of Hello. drama on the ice. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know where I was looking. <laughs> there's been no drama. Uh, <laughs> oh, forget it. <laughs> Come on, carry on, Terms. You carry on. <laughs> uh, well, there's been no shortage of drama on the ice, on the ice, <laughs> Thanks, but man. here to fill us in on the latest <laughs> and give us a take on which in the dancing and ice hopefuls have already caught his eyes, Ashley Banjo. Now, before we speak to Ashley, here's a little look at the action on the rink so far. Oh. <laughs> It might not have been the strongest skate of the night, but for me, I think it might be my favourite. Some amazing skating, that the lift, the shoulder sit lift was incredible. Lady Leisha and Brendan are in the skate-off. Colin, I thought that the moment you came running out onto the ice, I was like, oh, wow, all right then. You guys have set the bar by far, so well done. Mylene and Lukas are in tonight's skate-off. And one of the yeah. ice panel, Ashley Banjo, is here right now. Yeah, Hi, Ashley. Ashley. How, are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing, guys? You know, I love you two. Your energy is always <laughs> 10 out of 10. I wish I was in the studio. I really we do, do try. We do try. We ain't got much else, but we got energy. <laughs> I've got to start off by saying, Ashley, is this the most dangerous show on TV? It's got to be, hasn't it? Oh, it's, oh, it's got to be one of. I mean, look, we've only had two weeks of it so far, and we've had falls, bruises, literally blood from someone's face. What other show do you get blood from someone's face, I you know? know. So, it, um, yeah, I, I definitely think it's one of the most dangerous. Yeah, do you remember that show, The Jump, where they, they took people away? And <laughs> that only lasted a I couple of series. Stop cause, doing that. Yeah, yeah, because everyone was getting injured. <laughs> do you see that, Ashley, down there, when you're down there and you're seeing people rehearse and, and being put through their paces, mm. just how difficult and yeah. how physical it is? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I kind of skated myself last year. I learned to skate, um, which was really tough. I saw Perry do it last series, yeah. and that gave me a whole new insight into it. It is literally so much more difficult than it looks. It's weird because Perry was so good last year, and I actually thought he was going to win, but you really, with, with Dancing on Ice, you literally can't call it, can you? Yeah, you don't know. I mean, look, in week one, we had Joe Warren. He came out, he's a great skater. Yeah. Flat on his bum. Do you know what I mean? You just, you just never know what's going to happen. And um, actually, so we were just looking there. We were just talking while, while, while we were playing the clips there. That It's actually quite a small rink, isn't it? Which, actually, which I, I would assume would, made it, would make it harder because, you've, you know, you can't just yeah. hair around. Your turns mm. have got to be quite tight and your, your, your moves have got to be really well choreographed, correct? You know what, that's one of, that's one of the hidden secrets uh, about DOI because what happens is people go to the rinks locally, they practice, they train, and they get to studio and the rink is like half the size, so they have to sort of like reconfigure and work because when you pick up speed, you cover so much, so much distance really quickly if you're skating well. So, yeah, it kind of looks a lot bigger on telly, but when you get there, you'd be surprised how small it is. Yeah. What about you being a judge, Ashley? How much are you enjoying it? This is your fourth year in the role. Do you love doing it? And what do you think makes a really good judge? I, I, do you know what? I, I'm still trying to work that one out. Um, but this is it's a show that I love. It feels classic to me. I kind of walk out onto the panel week one every series and sort of go, yeah, I'm a judge on Dancing on Ice. When, <laughs> when did that happen? Do you know what I mean? Like, it, still kind of make, it still kind of freaks me out sometimes. Um, but no, I, I absolutely love it. What's but, been, but, what, sorry. sorry, I was just going to say, what's been the main surprises for you? Because I, I was actually really surprised that Myling class when I was yeah. so surprised. Have you been surprised at anything? I think the biggest surprise is that they've asked me back for a fourth year. <laughs> oh, um, <I> but <laughs> I think that, no, genuinely, I think. <laughs> oh, cheers, Alison. No, I think Rufus. You know, Rufus was a massive surprise. If I'm honest, I just didn't think he was going to be very good, and he came out and just gave such a good performance that made me laugh, smile the whole way. So I think he's going to be one to watch this year. And you go back to. You know, Alison was asking what makes a good judge. I think for you and watching you uh, on Dancing Ice and especially on BGT, I think you've just got to be honest with people and, you, and, and yeah. never sort of go in with a preconceived idea of this is what I want to say to this person because I've done this in rehearsal. Just be instinctive mm -hmm. about it and you're, so, you're, you're a brilliant judge. How, where, where do you, you know think what? the, 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 write, the difference between... I don't write notes or anything. Right, exactly. So where do you think the difference between um, what you do for a living, being a choreographer and, and judging someone on their dancing and judging someone on the ice skating, are you a bit more sympathetic because it's such a different discipline for so many people? 
Um, I think that for me, performance is performance. You know, no matter what medium you use, whether you're a dancer, a vocalist, a skater, an aerialist, whatever it is, there are certain things that are universal, yeah. right? So I sit there and I, and I look as if I was watching a show, what notes would I give? If I was creating a show, what notes would I give? I never try and sit there and, you know, judge them as a skater because some of them are probably better than me. It's more a case of me looking and going, how would you get more votes? And if I know about one thing, it's about sort of, you know, doing pretty well in shows and getting votes. So... <laughs> <laughs> and do you think you've spotted a winner yet, Ashley? Oh, do you know what? This year is it's pretty wide open, but we had um, we had a really incredible skate week two with Faye and Hamish. It was unbelievable for, for their first time out. So um, I, I think we've definitely got to look out for them. She looked like a pro. We're just looking at them skating here, and she's absolutely amazing. Mm, absolutely amazing. Quite, quite often, Ashley, on The X Factor, I'm sure the same on, on Britain's Got Talent, you'd see people in these competition shows, and some of them kind of peak after maybe two, three weeks, and then mm. they kind of almost don't really have anywhere else to go. They, you know, they, hit, they, they get into their groove by then. Do you prefer to see someone sort of come from nowhere in the last couple of rounds and, and, and so you see that kind of real progression from start to finish, like, I don't know, maybe like we saw in Strictly with Bill this year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, obviously, the, the kind of the, the human part of me loves to see the journey and loves to see someone progress. But more, I think more so than that, the performer in me loves to see someone go out there every single week and just leave it all. Sure. If I thought someone had more in the tank and they were holding it back for like the sake of a narrative, I wouldn't like that. Whereas I just want someone to go out there and literally, I'd rather them go out and fall over because they're trying something that's so difficult and they're really pushing themselves and play it safe. So just for me, it's just about leaving it all on the ice and just and, giving and it your lastly, all. Lastly, lastly, sorry, what, um, with diversity, you've, you've got some got plans for, what, is, would it be 2022 now or when are you guys touring? Yeah. Yeah, so we're supposed to be touring this year for a good few months, but we're not actually doing it until next year now. But we've added even more dates, which is incredible. It's going to be our biggest tour yet. And literally, we are going to go mental. When we're actually all allowed to actually be out on the road and see people in a theatre, oh, my God, the energy is going to be incredible. I can't wait. I also love watching you on Instagram, doing all your dances with Perry. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. But thank you so <laughs> oh, much for joining Thanks, us, Ash. Ashley. Talk Six o'clock Sunday, up, ITV, Dancing on Ice. Also, Holly and Philly are going to be on there as well, which is brilliant. So. He's such a great guy. So good. I love Ashley Banjo. Mm -hmm.